Hey guys, good morning. I'm just going to open this feed into a few groups. Hopefully someone will find it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Tanya. So just as people find this feed, I'm just going to add uh, to a group or two. So please bear with me. Please tag anyone that may be interested, of course. And let, shout out and let me know that you can actually hear this as well. Always a good thing before we get going. So just give me one more moment, guys, and I'll be with you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, uh, June um, 2023. Who would have thought we're here already? Um, the year is flying by uh, with the accelerated accelerated energies that are um, coming in. Yes, uh, sure. Very, very high frequencies at the moment um, and have been obviously for quite some time now, but they're really ramping up. Um, so I really just wanted to hop on, you know, every month um, we, we transform into another four week period, obviously, but you know, this is an ongoing um, process of activating purifying accelerating ascending and we're going up in notches yeah and obviously at this time because of the acceleration of the energies we have more uh cosmic support cosmic alignment to be able to to really anchor in um these higher light codes into ourselves and into the into gaia through our conduits for um support of the earth and ourselves and the, and humanity so really, I just wanted to uh, come in today and uh, channel a little bit of information from the from the galactic um, frequencies from uh, I feel the Palladian uh, High Council that I've been working with uh, for the last few times when I've been doing lives. We're just going to I'm just going to step aside and allow some some words to come through, um, and we'll see what comes. Uh, in regards to um, into into the June energies, okay. So bear with me, bear with me. <clears throat> And we would like to say good morning. Good morning to you all. It is a fair day here in in the area where this conduit resides, the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. It is a beautiful day, beautiful day to be touching the earth with your hands, with your feet, and embracing and celebrating the gift that you are, uh, the contract that brought you to the earth this lifetime, and celebrate all that you have become so far on your journey this time around. 
It is important, we would say, at this time, as many are finding the energy is quite um, destabilizing or triggering or activating, if you will, uh, the uh, underbelly of their consciousness, or mm, some would say the shadow, um, that it is important to recognize how far you have uh, come since mm, the last little while, even the last three years, uh, how much has developed, how much awareness you have uh, expanded into your consciousness that is always on the rise, always looking to um, invigorate itself with the current energies that have been, you know, um, we are filtering through your um, inner planes at the moment to support this revolution, we would say, a big revolution in in consciousness. And this, this, this month of your June, we would say, is not a... Um, not uh, a quiet one at all. We would say that it is important that day by day you um, in, um, instigate and, and uh, really uh, discipline yourselves to uh, uh, put in practices that support your nervous system and your uh, channel and your openness to uh, receiving these energies. So we would say that as well as moving and um, uh, drinking plenty of water or electrolytes in whatever form you feel to um, partake, we would say that it is also important to sit in nature or, or if it is a little chilly outside, we would say uh, sit in your space at home and be. And we give you now an expression of energy of expanded stillness. Let this energy move through your energy field, through your body, through your consciousness, through your subconsciousness. Allowing a bridge of connection between the consciousness and the subconsciousness. As we say, this is a month of further disclosure, further truth, exposure, and integrity. But this begins within the mind of the individual. So we would say sitting in expanded awareness of your connection to everything and all that is will give you your answers and will give you your innate truth. Not what I say as a channel or another channel says, but you as an individual have your own unique sovereign expression of source consciousness through your pillar and your astral chakra plane and it is through stilling the vessel the seven chakra point vessel of your physical form that you may access these higher energies and bring them through So we would say that this, this month of your June is a powerful month of embodiment. Embodiment in alignment with your soul into the physical vessel. This is a graduation and as we said at the beginning of this channeling, a celebration pivot point for your 2020. 
uh, uh, three. For you have done very deep excavation work in the last mm, couple of months. So you are graciously graduating to a new level of light quotient consciousness and availability through your astral pillar of light to bring through to this earthly realm. And therefore, a huge shift in the collective consciousness too. So this is it, dear friends. This is the stillness and the expansiveness of all that is necessary at this time. We know that this channel also mentioned in his um, um, posting of the, the June energies, the uh, dissolution of a disaster timeline. We feel to comment on this so that there is no fear or um, uh, anxiety uh, brought up into uh, um, the physical vessels. We say that this is an ancient timeline, not unlike that of Atlantis. And there are spellcasters and beings and those that would use the blue beam technology that would like to um, spin and reversals to recreate this timeline. But would, we would say that is mm, unable to occur for there are enough souls that are now av advancing in the Ascension networks uh, that uh, this um, uh, timeline pathway will not unfold. However, there may be Mm, uh, outward um, mo commotion, we would say. There may be uh, little drops of um, excitement, we would say, into the collective field through the uh, usual channels, your media, etc., etc., uh, to uh, elevate the um, arousal of the collective nervous system. So we would say that in this uh, this powerful month, powerful, powerful month of June, that it would be useful to to look away at times, to look away from the drama, look away from the chaos, and sit in the stillness and the soul energy that is wishing to be anchored in to your vessels. over and over to not be in denial or to to um, look away with uh, fear but to acknowledge and to know what is going on but also to stay in your energy and sovereignty and we all know that there are many powerful beings of light um, Act, sacred activists, sacred truthers, if you will, that are doing powerful and um, expansive and opening work for those around them. And we also um, would say that is divinely perfect. Follow your guidance, follow your own soul at this time. We are moving out of the age of the uh, ascended guru, as we all know. Does not mean you are uh, not uh, able to access support from teachers and such like. 
but to always come back to yourself and trust what resonates and what does not resonate for your consciousness. We would say that uh, the 6-6 portal is uh, the laying down of energetic foundations, uh, uh, four pillars of light surrounding uh, the channel of each of you that will help to fortify and anchor and stabilize your light quotient in the coming months. And this is a preparation for mm, a powerful, of course, uh, June um, solstice, 21-22. So all in all, a big energy month yet again. So staying grounded. Staying grounded, staying humble. Staying in your heart. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Amen. <sighs> so, um... That was the Palladians. <laughs> that was the Palladian High Council. Any questions from that channeling? Um, as I, uh, I'll stay a little bit longer. Um, I just wanted to also mention uh, something else. Um, uh, as as I also mentioned it in the in the blurb I did for June, which is on my wall down below, um, that there is also a. Um, uh, a, a very uh, the, the channeling came through yesterday a, ve a very strong be careful of how you speak how you use your words because we are in a very potent month of creation so that means be careful how you speak about others be careful uh, because everything's a spell yeah every any every word has frequency every uh, word has um, impact you know, around in the uh, uh, in the um, collective field. So really, as so much has been lifted and shifted and so much has been agitated in people, I would really uh, in, uh, invite people to be aware of what they are creating through their mind and what they're not creating at this time because um, it's powerful and we have a choice. Yeah, we have a choice in every given moment. I also wanted to... Uh, introduce this little piece of um, stubonite, I think it's called. Someone who is uh, very crystal oriented can correct me if that's not the right pronunciation. Um, stibonite, stibonite. And um, it is, it looks a little bit like um, a terahertz actually, a little, a little bit like terahertz. I love this piece because it looks like the shape of Australia. <laughs> so it's a little bit, a little bit relevant. Um, and it's uh, and it's really a beautiful crystal for for you to work with at this time because it helps to work with the accelerated energies to anchor them into the body to also work with empowerment and courage and uh, really staying on path. So all that stuff that I mentioned in that channeling, um, I feel can be supported stepping up, speaking up. All of that um, can be uh, uh, worked with with this divinite crystal, and it, it's just it looks almost metallic, but it's kind of very cool. Yeah. So that I'll work with that, I'm sure, at some point um, in one of the groups. Uh, but I, I don't want to do it right now because I'm still a little bit altered from the channeling. So uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, the six six portal. The 66 portal it will be available in uh, is available to purchase uh, to watch that channeling. It's a live in Sydney event next Tuesday night. So if you're in Sydney and you feel like you want to come along, there's a few spots left in the room. But if not, if you want to uh, join me online, um, I'll put the link below for the event. Yeah. So um, 
I feel that's really all that wants to be said right now. Um, please reach out if you feel the need to, for a reading or uh, some guidance at this time uh, or some activation, light language stuff. Um, I've got a little bit of space in Sydney on the 6th if you want a one-on-one. -on -one. Otherwise, I'm back after that in the Sunshine Coast. Also, of course, we'll be uh, running a session at the Paradigm Shift in Malulaba, Sunshine Coast, uh, 17th to the 19th of June. The Paradigm Shift um, should be a good conference summit. Uh, should be fun. A lot of um, uh, galactic folk should be there, I feel. So, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, good luck. Keep doing the work. Keep anchoring in. Keep clearing and releasing and opening and expanding. That's the game right now. Um, I'm wishing you well today and always. Uh, have a beautiful day.